Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can display child under parent categories in a slider with the Ocommerce Category Slider Pro plugin. Make sure that Ocommerce Category Slider Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site along with the Ocommerce plugin. You can directly click on Add New or you can click OK Slider and then click Add New to create a new slider and give it a title. As our goal is to show child under parent categories only, so let's directly move on to the general settings and category type properties. Here you can select a category type from parent and parent and child. So select parent and child and you will get a new few properties like parent and child to choose display type and exclude levels. When you click on the parent and child box, you will get the list of your created categories as showing sequentially. Leave the field empty to display all the categories in the slider. Select a display type from individualize age or child under parent. So select child under parent and now let's see how it looks in the live preview. Click show preview. And you can see this is how the child under parent categories are showing in the slider. So this is the parent category and its child categories are showing below it. So let's remove this uncategorized category in the slider. So what you have to do is hide empty categories and update the preview and you can see the empty categories are not showing in the slider anymore. Select a display mode from visible and collapsible. You have already seen the visible display mode where the child categories are showing as a list below the parent. When you select collapsible, it will shrink the grandchild and great grandchild categories to their parent categories. Let me explain it to you, showing an example in the live preview. Let's focus on the main category. Here, men accessories, men's clothing, and men's watches are its first level of child categories. As we are using collapsible display type, so what is happening here is if any child category has nested categories, I mean second or third level of category, then they are shrinking into their parent categories. Like you can see here is a plus sign is showing that means it has more nested categories. So when you click on it, you will get the grandchild category of the man. So this is how the collapsible display mode works. If you want to exclude any level of categories from your slider, so what you have to do is check the box. Suppose I want to exclude great grandchild categories. So check the box and update the preview. And you can see the great grandchild categories are not showing anymore. Similarly, you can exclude parent, child and grandchild categories from the slider. Below that, you can turn on or off the child or subcategories product count and set margin. You can display the categories in different layout presets like slider, grid and block. Go to the display options to configure category content position from below content, above content, right content, left content and overlay content. Show or hide the category icon, category name, product count, custom text and description. Configure the shop now button from here. So I have hide the product count, custom text and description. So now if I update the preview, you can see only the categories are showing in the slider, not the other texts. Go to the thumbnail settings to configure category thumbnails related properties like you can select a shape, set border, box shadow, inner padding, margin, zoom effect and image mode effect. So if I select rounded shape for the category thumbnails and update the preview, you will see the category thumbnails are showing in a round shape. Go to the slider controls to configure autoplay, navigation and pagination related properties. If you want to change the category name font properties then go to the typography settings and turn this name field on and select a font family from 900 plus google font. So I am selecting Roboto and now if I update you will see the font family for the category name has been changed to Roboto. Now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode id from here go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block publish the page and view it. So you can see this is how the child under parent category slider is showing in the web pages. So that's all about today. In the next video, I will come up with another beautiful features of the plugin. Until then, take care.